portions of the 1991 film Babe Ruth were filmed in Cleveland's Municipal Stadium, where the Babe had played against the Cleveland Indians. Rod Carew helped actor Stephen Lang duplicate the Babe's swing, even though he hadn't played baseball since he was a kid. What a great job athletically, athletically acting. The film also had some controversy as Pete Rose, who was playing an appropriately notorious baseball character, Ty Cobb, was banned from appearing in the stadium on the field to film any scenes. So here you see a uh, exclusive WKYC, the NBC affiliate in Cleveland, trailer and in intro and a report that aired on the 11 p.m. news on October 6, 1991, following the television debut of the Babe Ruth movie. Tonight's NBC movie, Babe Ruth, was shot right here in Cleveland Stadium. Tonight at 11, following the movie, Channel 3 News takes you behind the scenes. Actor Stephen Lang spent months studying with Hall of Famer Rod Carew. I was watching his face on the, on the monitor while I was filming some scenes, and it's just extraordinary how much he reacts like Babe Ruth. And find out why Pete Rose could not appear in uniform on the Cleveland field. Don't miss Babe Hits Cleveland, following the movie on Channel 3 News. NBC World Premiere, based on a true story. A new World Series record. He became a legend on the field. This is the biggest thing that ever happened to me. He became a bigger legend off the field. And that's why I'm a real American hero. From abandoned orphan. That used to be my bed, but I made it. You're going to make it too. To rebel. You're going to play by the rules. Who the hell are you? To idol. That's the way I live my life, boys. Babe! A world premiere with Pete Rose and Ty Cobb. And now, based on the true story, Babe Ruth. Well, Babe Ruth became a rich man when the Yankees signed him into pinstripes. That was back in 1920. You watch the Babe story tonight right here on NBC. Much of it shot right here in Cleveland. Long before there was AstroTurf and the designated hitter, baseball was ruled by the Sultan of Swat. He's the idol of uh, millions. He's uh, an American uh, icon, and the uh, you know the opportunity to bring a uh, kind of a myth to f flesh and blood is uh, is a very challenging thing. Tony Award-winning actor Stephen Lang spent months studying old newsreels and listening to tapes to capture the Ruth myth. He paid tribute at Babe's grave and became a regular at the Ruth Museum in Maryland. Trying to master the Sultan of Swat's swing was a real challenge for Stephen Lang. First off, Ruth was a lefty. Lang is a righty. For three weeks, Lang trade with Hall of Famer Rod Carew to become a Hollywood switch hitter. Lang calls it a zen-like experience. Rod has a, a school down in Anaheim and uh, every day go down there, I'd meet him at 2.30 and we'd work till about 4, which a highly concentrated time. Just working on uh, the mechanics of uh, Ruth's swing and uh, trying to belt the ball out of the park. To play Ty Cobb, Ruth's rival throughout his career, a modern-day baseball legend was picked for the lineup, Pete Rose. But the appearance of baseball's all-time hits champ in the film was not without its controversy. Think about it. Originally, the script called for Rose to don a uniform and appear on the field. But because of his lifetime ban from the majors, the commissioner of baseball cried foul. And, uh, you know, the last thing in the world we're looking for is an argument with the commissioner of baseball. And if they say no uniform, that's fine. Uh, you know, they rule when it comes to the uniform and use it on TV. The commissioner won. Rose was plucked from the second scene and not allowed on the field. Yes, the script may have changed. But the legend of Babe Ruth remains the same. Now, Rose said he loved playing Ty Cobb and finds acting pretty easy. What's next? Well, you got it. He says he'd love to star in the Pete Rose story. <laughs> Good luck, Pete. That's a neat story. Yeah, great, great movie. Thank you for watching Cleveland Live Music. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. There's further patronage information in the video descriptions below.
Thanks for all the support and making the channel grow.